After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops just threw me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head under lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just get me out, just get me out. things that can kind of get to me at this job is that because I work in the booking process, I'm the first person that inmates see when they come in. And even though I'm very even-tempered, I will talk to people, I'll explain their charges to them and try to have patience. A lot of times it doesn't matter to the ones that are very angry. So a lot of times I just take a deep breath and uh, I just got to explain to them it's not going to do them any good to give any attitude. Right now we have a code five that just arrived. It's a female. I don't know the circumstances of what's going on, but we'll go out there, I'll have our sergeant talk to her, and hopefully she'll be able just to walk in. This is a narcotics arrest. She was selling mushrooms, and they no. think she took some earlier. So she's been everything from, like, very nice and polite all the way up to, you know, trying to smash her face on our cage, oh, all the lovely. way to trying to get squirrely with us, etc. You want to get out of the car? Yeah, take me out. All right, bring your feet out first. I'm going to help you up, OK? Let's go walk this way. Ooh, don't you want to like cover those up a little bit? No, they won't pull it up for me. Oh, well, you can. Please, Look at you. I can't. Look at you. Look. Good job. Thank you. You're welcome. So what were you doing tonight? Absolutely nothing. I had no alcohol, no drugs. Nothing. I had nothing on me, and I'm arrested. Well, why would you be arrested for Can nothing? Can you ask them for me? I will. Absolutely. We'll Thank get you. to the Thank bottom so of this. Much, Can you spread your feet for me, please? Nothing in your bra? Nothing. You said no drugs. I have absolutely nothing on me. All right, let's go talk to medical, OK? Are you balancing yourself? No, I just, these, these shoes are uncomfortable to me. I'm just going to have to monitor and see how she does. Have you had any alcohol tonight? <coughs> yes. <coughs> I'm not going to lie. Is champagne a beer? Sorry? It's alcohol. OK. Um, have you Four had any drugs, any kind of drugs? Nothing. Marijuana? Uh, yes. That's a drug. I'm sorry. I, I really how truly gonna, did not consider it a drug. I'm sorry. Yes. How are we going to have an honest relationship if it's I, like this? Because I really didn't think. I, I truly forgot. Like, I, I, I smoke it, like, every day. I'm sorry. Yes, I smoke marijuana. If you smoke it every day, how do you not know? I have, a, I have a legal prescription, but it's not legal in Nevada. Why don't we go over and have a seat with the other females, calmly? OK. You got this. OK. You I don't got know this. where to go, actually. What did I say? Uh, Last row with the other females. Hey, boyfriend. Can you come back here, please? What's your first name? Justin? Yeah. I just want to know what the story is between you and your girlfriend and coming in tonight. Well, I got so caught selling pot, and a cop arrested me uh, undercover, and they arrested me, and then they arrested her for no reason, I guess. You know, she already told us that she's been smoking weed tonight. Oh, yeah, probably. I don't know. I thought weed is, like, more calming. She's not very calm. I told her. I don't know, man. This is her first time ever being in trouble, too. Like, I swear yeah, to God. Yeah, but she's been drinking tonight. She's been using drugs. It's kind of my fault, or it is my fault. Mm-hmm. We'll figure it out. All right? Mm -hmm. You can go have a seat. She's acting kind of ass over here. Huh? She's calling me all type of names. Caitlin, don't start here. They're just talking about me over there. I'm not going to sit here. Are you yelling at me? I that said they're talking hey. smack about me, and you completely They were me. not talking smack You weren't even about here. OK, stand up, Caitlin. Come on. Stand up. Let no. Me, I'm going to take care of the wrong. No, you got to stand up, or I'm going to make you stand up. So what's, what's the choice? Caitlin, what are you going to do? OK, I'll help you. Turn around. Caitlin, stand up. Don't fight, Caitlin. Just stand up. Don't resist, Caitlin. Oh, no, no. Stop. Negative. Negative. Yeah. Relax. Yeah. Let's try again. Yeah. Now we're going to walk. Ah. Your boyfriend's very concerned about you. You should listen to Shut him. Shut the f up, bitch. What? That's not very nice. You're a ugly ass cop. I don't think I'm that ugly. I just caught the tail end of that. Yeah, she was acting up out there and obviously just can't control herself. It's probably better than Viagra, isn't that for DJ? Marijuana, is that better than Viagra? Oh, yeah. Does it take away some of the pain of your medical issue? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Let's go down here and talk to the nurse here. Yeah. So what's going on with this gentleman? 
Basically, he was at Sam's Town, uh, had to cut him off of alcohol, and uh, he proceeded to drop on the floor and start breakdancing. When security told him to stop, he tried to do leg sweeps. The gentleman had a warrant for DUI. This country, if you make marijuana legal and tax it, <laughs> that we would pay off the national debt. Do you hallucinate or anything like that? Oh, right. God, you just, you know, you kill it, you want to kill it. There you, With alcohol? You smoke it. Yeah, you take a hit. Man, you just want to... I thought... I, you, I, it's, I don't know how to explain it. I thought you said that it made you want to make love, you know, better than Viagra. Oh, well, I, that's after you smoke it. After you smoke it, you made love and everything else, then you want to kill somebody. You have a wide range of emotions going there. Did you just say to legalize it? <laughs> I don't think I said that. Of course, I've been smoking it for so many years. I don't know what I'm saying, you know. My brain is, isn't working all right, you know. I, I get all the questions in jeopardy, but hell, if I know, you know, what they're talking about, reaver madness. So you just seem like you've changed a lot since earlier. I just don't remember most of it, and I'm just, I just remember being belligerent and... What? I didn't mean to, I'm sorry. What, what caused all that? Just, just alcohol. It just made me a different person, I guess. In the future, I mean, if you're going to go out and have a few drinks, do you think that you'll think about this and that will make a... Yes, I am never coming back to jail, ever. So what does that mean you have to do then when you go out? Not get drunk or no. wait till I'm 21. At least never come to Vegas until I'm 21. Because what, what was I really going to do here? Like, yeah. Just get in trouble. I can't go. I can't go into clubs. I can't like. How long have you? Been and I'm just a stoner from California. Like I was asking for trouble, like straight up. It didn't turn out to be a very good night for you at all. No. <laughs> all right. I'm just glad you're doing better. Just hang out here for a minute. <laughs> wow. That's not even the same person. Not even the same person. Oh, completely different. Apologetic. But That's it took something like this to really sink in. <laughs> Most people think that we like to use force to accomplish our goals, and the truth is that if we have a hostile person come in, we like to try to talk them through the process, let them know what to expect. The best day we have is when we don't have to use force in any situation. What's going on with you today? Domestic violence. And yeah, who'd you get in a fight with? I got it. My girlfriend. Just give me a change. Yeah. What about? Over. Because I uh, went to the drive-thru and ordered food, and I didn't have $20 on me, <laughs> and she freaked out. Did she have money? Yeah. Oh, she, she, she freaked wanted you to out. pay your own? The officers have no idea of the story. There's a, a lot more to the story than there is. Right. And she's throwing dishes at me, all kind of stuff, at her house. It was just nuts. Wow. And then so I like was pleading with her, like, please situation. just stop. Just calm down. Da, da, da. She bites me away, da, da, da. throwing dishes at me. And I was like, OK, I'm leaving. Hi, Paul. Hi. I, look, I've been dating her for six years. She's been having an affair with her husband for five. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is she married? There's now a lot really more confused. to this story. I guess. We've been officially together since December. So you guys are a couple, but they're still officially married. Legally officially married, married yeah. I got you. OK. The cops were calling like an hour after it all happened. I was already yeah. home, oh, in no. bed, sleeping. Like, it was done. Here, go all the way down to see the nurse. Make sure your health is OK. It's just really messed up. We ended up over at his girlfriend's residence because she called us. And the details we just had was that she got hit. And we get over there, the, the house is totally destroyed. She's got injuries all over her. She says he ended up breaking into the residence to get to her and beat her up. Initially, he said he never saw her, hadn't seen her for two days. And then the story changed, of course, because he had a bite mark on him. And we asked him about the bite mark. And he said, well, uh, he got the bite mark from this morning, so which confirmed the story that he was over there at the residence. Right. But since he broke into the house, he got charged with burglary and battery okay. domestic violence. Of course, he's got a totally different story, but he's blaming her for the entire situation and breaking her own stuff. So get him booked. Where are Victor? 
What'd you get arrested for? DUI. DUI. Spread your feet out. Put your hand up on your head. Right there. Don't do anything you're not told to do. Right there. Don't move unless I tell you to. Are you sorry or you just feel like not listening? I feel that I'm not listening. You feel like not listening. That's the wrong answer, sir. OK, let's go for the right answer. You need to listen to me, OK? I'm in charge. You understand that? Yeah. Now, left hand. You're going to go down and see the nurse. Go right around the front, see the lady in the blue, and be nice. South Tower Control, some more insurance with card. Who's we'll deal with this call? He drives through this lady's front yard, smashes over a wrought iron fence, and uh, he's out behind the wheel. The car is running, it's in drive, but it's kind of high center on this bush, so I open the door, touch his shoulder, and as soon as I touch him, just to check to see if he's even alive, he starts swinging. So he drills me in the side of the face with a closed right hand. So I grab him. You know, he, he's not coming out of the car, so this epic fight ensues. So we finally manage to pry him out and uh, get a hold of his legs, pick him up, dump him out of the car. We start putting the cuffs on, and we get the cuffs on one hand. He starts throwing rocks at me with the other hand from the, from the driveway. The yeah, from the from the ground and stuff. And he just didn't want to go to jail. Yeah. And this, what, what all did you end up booking him on? I got him DUI for yeah. DUI and then uh, just battery to PO. You said, or something on the paper says that I swing so to an officer. Who's saying that? The officer? Do, do I do I swing to you? Mm -hmm. No. You did. That's for you say so. I, I, I Why would you make so. that up? To Believe me, people that are in jail, innocent, are more than the people that are outside. Are. <laughs> Which one are you? From the point A that I remember when you wake me up. So you remember to the point Z. Uh, that I am right now. Okay, we usually go A, B, just so you know. From you're going A, C, and you're forgetting about I B. Don't know, I don't know. B I is know, where I you were taking you, a swing when, at. When you arrest me, I told you, do you remember? No, I don't. Okay. Well, not the remember being, uh, uh, isn't. A uh, red doing drink. It. Uh, All right. Okay, we're good, Victor. I'll just take really? the cuffs off and let you out, okay? My mistake. Yes. Police always right. Okay, Victor, stand up, please. Have a nice day. I'll see you in court. Nice see you in court. So the end result, what's going to happen now? You guys going to make up and get back together, or going to just stay away from I'm her? And, away. I mean, yeah. I told her tonight. That's why I think she called the police because she knew it was over. She, yeah. Because I, I left. I said, see you, and I left. You got a charge of burglary? Yeah. The circumstances that the officer saw at the scene, OK? It doesn't mean it's going to hold up in court. It's just an accusation. That's just so messed up. Just look at it as an accusation right now. Just try to get through your stuff. Call your family. Let them know that you're here, all right? And uh, try to try to take this one step at a time, OK? Left side, all right? So with the first three rows. It's probably going to be here a few days. It didn't sound like he had the money for bail. And, uh, Unless him and his girl stop drinking and getting fast food at 3 o'clock in the morning, All right. they're probably going to keep having problems. This is a copy of your charges here, OK? The, uh, the DUI uh, happened in the city. And then uh, actually did an assault on a police officer, so it's a $1,000 bail. Both I misdemeanors. Didn't even move, so how I even assault mm -hmm. somebody? Yeah. I never lost my, my conscience. Well, why don't you come on up here? I got your uh, money card ready, OK? Uh, your cash here, I want you to sign. OK, come on out here. Have a seat over there. And seems to be more sober right now. Hopefully, he'll follow the rules out here and get himself booked in and get himself released eventually. down here in the booking section for about 10 years now. Some of the responsibilities as a sergeant down here is officer safety. I got to make sure that my officers come to work and go home safely. Second of all is morale. Uh, I spend a lot of time with these officers. I consider them my extended family. So we do a lot of activities inside and outside of work to keep that camaraderie nice and tight. 
your feet up. Officer, I'm not combative. Man. Ouch! Hey, the, the cuffs are too tight. Can you unloose them a little Thanks. bit? Thanks, okay. Thank you. Officer, please. Oh, hey, thanks. Appreciate it. I'm calling you officer, man. Around. I mean, Sorry. Okay. Hey, Good. you don't need it. I'm not... I'm not doing Good. anything, man. Michael, just stay up against the wall and follow instructions, okay? Ouch! I'm not combative, man. Seriously, Michael. I'm not combative, man. He's just got you in the wrist. Though. Seriously, okay. I'm not. Okay. I'm not trying not to be combative. I'm just, just keeping you under control. Can you loosen Michael. up a little? Hey, I'm not that. Tell you? Up, man. Go through the process. That's yeah. what I told you. Loosen the cuffs up a little bit, man. As long as we can put our fingers in there. Can you, loo can you tell these guys yeah, policy. to be a little bit respectful, please, Metro? Ouch! Ouch. Michael, we're going to take you to a side cell right now. Whatever yeah. your name is. I'm not combative. Seriously. Oh, double lock, check for tightness. Officer. Walk this way. Okay. Right this way, buddy. Hey, walk. I'm walking. Officer, walk. Michael came in for DUI and hit and run. Came in code five, actually. We're just gonna watch him. Hopefully, he calms down. Hey there. Look at that sweater. Yeah, wow. we're spraying on the outside. Okay. Yeah, we talked to him earlier. Obviously, it's not working. So, all right, we'll keep an eye. Keep an eye on this. Sir, hand me the tray. They're about to fight, and one of them has a tray. Hey. Hey. Put the tray through here. So you don't get a deadly weapon charge. Hey, put the tray out. Sir, put the give tray, me the tray out. You know that's a deadly weapon, right? Oh, okay. Any available. Any available. Sergeant, 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 This one's four is open. Give the uh, tray up. Yeah, four is open. He's threatening to hit us when it's one. Turn around and face the wall, both of you. Sir, hey. Let's do it. Not a good idea. Take him down. Yep. Break it. Ah. Oh, He's here for obstructing. Carlos is here for an invalid driver's license. So they could be getting out relatively quick. But unfortunately, they got in a little argument. These are good police officers. I'm not crazy. I'm not on drugs. These are good men. Put them in different side cells. What went on in there? Did he actually headbutt you? Did he hit me? Yeah. No. No. He hit me like, you know, like something like, you know. He grazed you. Yeah, I only yeah. pushed you. Hey, come on, man. It's good that you uh, maintain your composure. Yeah, he wanted me to hit you first. He like, said, no. He said, hit me? You know, in my country, I hit you first. And here in the United States, I don't hit you. <laughs> what country are you from? Cuba. Cuba. All right, stay frosty. We'll see what we can do about getting you out of here. Definitely the calm one of the group. <laughs> Compared to the other guy, the other guy is still speaking incoherently. Um, we've had the doctors come and talk to him. We're going to have to get a room for the other guy and uh, take him up to isolation housing. Yep, let's give him a call, see if they have room. All right. We're gonna go check on Michael, see how he's feeling. Uh, I tried talking to him earlier, didn't work out too well, so let's see how this one goes. What's up, Michael? How are we feeling now? Feel the same, man. Same way? You guys jacked me up, man. When you came in, Look well, at Why did you guys have to beat me down, man? Seriously. Actually, you're mistaken, OK? You what need you to remember mean? that you didn't see me until you came out of the car oh, and I walked you in. Today, man. Tonight, okay, man. The way you guys did me, man, you know there's a difference between the patrol officers and the corrections officers, right? You yeah, know there's that. a different unit. All that happened out there on the streets wasn't us. These patrol officers out there off a flat tire and sit there, they maced me, did this and that. I'm like, <clears throat> I still, <coughs> I still got the peppers. I can still sure. smell it, yeah. Yeah. OK. To me, yeah. you've calmed down enough. All right, you're still a little I, agitated. I was, you're I, in there. I no, you were upset I'm when agitated. you first came in. Believe me. Michael, look at me. Telling you. This is what's going on, okay? Your release is up. Walk with me. Walk this way. Right this way, buddy. We got your shoes. We'll give you your shoes at the end, okay? Because you had a DUI charge, you have to do a breath, okay? Take a deep breath. Pull the tight this out, okay? Got it. Deep breath and blow. Still up there. Really high. OK. Michael, we're going to put you in a side cell real quick. All right, they're going to check you again. All right. 
Once you blow under the required, you can go, OK? Drink some water. <laughs> <laughs> they have a sink in there. We'll give you some water. I got 212 pounds. <laughs> okay. All right, man. We're going to put you in a side cell by yourself. It's going to be 0.04. Go on in there and have a seat, all right? All right. It's like Michael's calmed down. But Nevada law, we cannot let them out until he blows under a certain number. So he's going to have to do it again. And hopefully, he'll be under and we can get him out of here. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my needs. I don't